Let's do more of this. The suffering. The stage that I have finally gotten the checkpoint on. Alright. Oops. Get 99 lives, I'm gonna need them. I am prepared. Oh, that works. There you go. That's an easier way to do it. Oh, it's still... Can't just sit there. Alright, I thought for the most part you could do it. So yeah, I mean, look, last time I said I wasn't going to let this become the whole stream again, but now I, I kind of have to because if I go into another stage, it means that it clears the checkpoint that took me hours upon hours to earn, so you know that's not going to happen. So, like, this is the warning at the start of the stream. This might be the whole stream. I don't know. But I guess as long as you find it entertaining, then hey. It'll be fine. Okay. Preparations have been done. Welcome to hell. I just realized that now I can actually take a cape in here. And it could be beneficial. Okay. Well, so far this has been highly beneficial. I won't be able to spin jump through this, I need to stop hesitating. Oh. Shit. Take the L. Wow. Well, that goes to my advantages. Um, cape is, is really good. Cape is really, really good. I got it, I got as far as I did last time. At the end of the last string, so. Just right away. That's already... Yeah, it's worth it. I just wish there was an easier way for me to get it. this part extra easy. Provided I don't mess it up. Okay, well, I messed it up. I'm trying not to hesitate. to jump. Okay. That's pretty good, to be honest. Either way. It's worth going to get the capes. 
I think if I'm more careful with the capes, I can definitely do this. I'm probably going to have to watch how the stage is done, like last time, but I want to see how far I can get without having to resort to that. Oh, come on. That was an awkward landing. I mean, if I can get to the next area without resorting to seeing how it's done, that'd be neat. I know this might be a little tedious. Wait, didn't the stage have a cape in it? No, it doesn't. Okay. I thought it did, and it could be a quick way to get a cape, but it's not. I'm thinking here. But that's not quicker than just going into the the other stage. Yeah, let's just go up here. It's fine. I kind of wish this, this was quicker. That's the only problem I have with it. It just takes forever for the feather to fall. Perfect that jump. I'm getting through between the two. I did it right the first time.
like, aw, you dick. This is the only thing that's a little annoying, is just... The Magic Koopa is such a wild card. It's not straight up platforming. I have to account for that variable. Ah, <laughs> oh, yeah, that. See? Like, I did well, and then... Random. It's okay. Shit. If I can survive with the cape all the way through that section there, I got a good chance. I don't think this section here is going to take that long, especially if the cape is proving to be highly beneficial and is letting me get through the bulk of this. Um, it should be fine. Just whatever comes after, because I'm not really sure. Trying not to hesitate too much. Shit. Ah. Oh. Wow, this is annoying. Oh, I jumped normally. Okay, that's the first I've been. I think this whole section, everything has to be a spin jump. Stupid magic hoopers. No, I'm just gonna restart. It's kind of unfortunate because it's just unlike the previous area where. You just memorize everything from a jump perspective. This is just... Well, that thing could mess you up at any minute. There's no real way to tell that it's about to do it. I'm gonna do my best to ignore it and just run past it. I think that's the best way. I think standing still too much in this is just... 
He's just gonna keep popping shots at you, and it's, it's just bad. Yeah, this is such bullshit. <laughs> This is one of these things where it was like, the stage is not annoying enough, let's add an element of random. I still think getting the cape is the best way to do this. It's just straight up random, like, just go and hope that it doesn't fuck me up. That's pretty much it. Nearly. I should have did a spin jump. So obnoxious. Okay. This is unfortunate. As long as I'm spin jumping, it should be okay. Oh, okay. Oh no. Well, I guess this is... Wait, the... Huh? That's not a background element? Oh no, come on, that's not fair. That... That's not a background element. I'm sorry. That's... that's horrible. Really? That's not a background element. Okay. 
Yeah, that's uh, that's not great design right there. I mean, I, I guess it's cool that I'm up to that, but I feel a bit robbed. Like, I can't believe that's not a background element. I feel so robbed, man. Like, I, I can't believe that. Yeah, okay. I see it now. <laughs> this is gonna be interesting. I mean, at least the cape Let's me reliably get up to that part, so that's nice. Koopa. Yeah. I'm hoping those things aren't going to be a constant threat in the next area. I get the feeling they will be, and that's what's going to be the challenge. Because having those things that look like background elements and the magic hoopers on top of that... second cape. Oh no, kept it, kept it. Oh. Shit. <laughs> Damn it. Sometimes it's easier just to be little. Oh, oh well. I may as well try. Ooh. 
dude. Damn it. <laughs> it's easier with the cape. I'm just gonna get the cape. I mean, it's still way more progress than the first area. The fact that I'm already up to the second half of this is... ...is good. <laughs> It's definitely giving me more confidence in that I could potentially get this done today. But I'm not holding my breath. There. <sighs> it must have let go of why. Such a dick. That's right. I need to strategically take it out at the right time so then it doesn't come back because you can do it I've noticed he doesn't come back depending on where he dies
Hopefully he doesn't come back. <sighs> Such an obnoxious thing. Don't care, just go. At this point, just iframe through it. So unless there's an upgrade here, this is going to be really difficult. Oh, good. I was wondering when these things would turn up. Ah, oh, yeah. Ah, <laughs> uh, dear. Hey, Evie, thank you so much for the raid. How's it going? Collect my cape and thoughts. Hey, Mikey, how's it going? How's the stream, Evie? What are you up to? got your first platinum in Ragnarok. Oh, word? Like, that's the trophy, right? Where you get everything. Congrats. So it'd be safe to say that you enjoyed the game, huh? It was hard as fuck. Well, if it's anything like the previous one that had that Valkyrie stuff, then yeah. Wow, that's that's really not cool. I'm just gonna die. You think it might be your favorite game of all time? No kidding. That's quite the accolade. I will definitely pick it up myself at some point. Whenever the price drops below what it currently is, I don't know. So did you feel that this one was harder than... ...than the previous entry, or would you say it was about the same or easier? Because I'm going to say what I'm sure you've probably heard a bunch, is you should try Elden Ring. If you find that kind of combat satisfying. And, uh... I mean, dolls combat alike, aside, sorry. Elden Ring's world and storytelling's really good. I think Elden Ring is a bit out of your league. I don't know. I, I think you'd do it okay. I think if you could handle the Valkyries in the previous game, then you have the ability to- oh, I'm so dead. The ability to get El somewhere in Elden Ring. You might try Bloodborne. Okay. Yeah, I mean, Bloodborne is less approachable than Elden Ring in some ways. But I think the combat you might enjoy more. I haven't played it myself, but I know from a mechanic's point of view what it's like. I 
I guess the reason I suggest Elden Ring is just because it has a bit less of the super, super frustrating stuff that the Souls games generally tend to have. Like, one of the big things is you can, uh, you can gain charges for your healing flask, or whatever you want to call it. Um, just by killing packs of enemies, whereas in, in other Souls games, you just have limited charges and the only way to recharge it, really, is to reach a checkpoint, I guess. And there's a bit more, uh, room for being able to explore the world, as opposed to all the other Souls games that pretty much go... You finish one hard fight, then you go straight to another, and that's more or less the game. So... But I get it, it's definitely... It's a bit of a risky investment. But I think you would definitely enjoy the world side of it. You started God of War 2018 again. Are you planning to get plat on it? Holy shit, this looks so hard. Yeah, this is the tail end of a, uh, a ROM hack. <laughs> it's like one of the last stages, so the difficulty is just insane, but the rest of this it has a bunch of uh, custom created levels that they're pretty cool. They're not hard. They do interesting things. It's just that I'm currently at the end of it where it's like I have to complete this challenge to unlock the final castle, so... Yeah. <laughs> I, I think it's worth a try. I think the way to play it is, if you get Platinum and God of War, I'm, I'm more than certain you'll be fine in Elden Ring. Particularly because a lot of the fights are just Valkyrie fights, if that makes sense, just in terms of what you do. But even more so, it's... Enemies will let you know what they're going to do in an easier way than the Valkyries do. Some people have said you would have trouble with Elm Elden Ring. Um, I say this sincerely, I think you will have problems with it, but it's nothing you can't handle, because I've seen how you grew in terms of uh, the Valkyrie fight, like how your combat improved just in that very short amount of time. I mean, some people spend days fighting those things. And you, in the time span of a few hours, just got the patterns down. And ev even if it's a case of, like, you have to look them up, because I did as well sometimes, um, it's fine. Those fights, they're not, they're not that often. A lot of Elden Ring is world exploration. The last Berserker took you, like, seven to eight hours. Okay. So the Berserkers are, I would assume, the equivalent of Valkyries in the new game, which it's fine. But, I mean, you did it, didn't you? You have the tenacity and, I think, the capability to do it. What is this? <laughs> I would genuinely enjoy to watch you play Elden Ring. Especially because there's different approaches you can take. You can be... Kind of play it like a caveman style character, where they have like a big ass weapon. Or you can go magic. There's different ways you can play it. I think the only thing that might be a little annoying is it can be very backseaty. Some people telling you how to build your character, but I mean... Generally speaking, it would be a good time, I think. Uh, 
And some of the fights are super satisfying. Plus, yeah, the lore behind it, it is George R. R. Martin. And, uh, there's quite a few YouTube channels that break down the lore, and it's, it's pretty interesting. You kind of need help with those kind of things, just not, uh, puzzles. And yes, George R. R. Martin, um, wrote the lore of Behind Elden Ring. That's why I'm highly recommending you give it a go. And given how well it did, I would imagine this is going to be a new franchise that he is going to take a part in. Um, I would say there's some puzzles in it, but it's more just, I guess... Do you know how in Breath of the Wild you have the, uh... The shrines? It's kind of like that, where they have, they have tombs. And the tombs sometimes will have a hidden pathway that you have to find to get to the lever that lets you fight the boss. Um, so some of that does require thinking outside the box a little. But for the most part, it's generally not that. It's kind of... You go around the world, you get stronger, you just discover new areas, and you find out more lore about the world. Um, and I guess the ultimate goal is just to get the Elden Ring, right? So. It's also fine if you, you have to look up stuff, like I, I did. And, yeah. Especially one fight in particular that, if you do play it and get up to it, I'm gonna highly suggest that you try it a couple times, but don't worry if you can't do it, because it is infamous for being one of the hardest fights in any of the Souls games, and... Even the way I did it, I guess the hardcore Souls player would count it as cheesing, so... Did I stream Elden Ring? I did. Um, all the playthroughs I did of it are on YouTube, if you're curious. It's a very beautiful game. I, I played it on PS5. A lot of the time you're, you're just gonna be going to a new area and then just lost in it. But yeah, check it out. I'm not- I'm not a very good Souls player. And there are certain things- my brother plays Souls games, there are certain things where he was like, I can't believe you- you did that fight that way. There was one fight in particular where... For whatever- I think I just ended up there way too soon. And so I spent five, six hours trying to beat this one... boss. And later on... I, I kind of realized, oh wow, that was so trivial, like... I- it was just my own... curiosity, and then... just stubbornness, I could have left it. I guess that's the other good thing, is if you ever reach a point where... you don't like what you're experiencing... other Dark Soul type games, you have no choice, more or less. You have to keep going until you beat it. Here, just go to another area of the map. Um, go kill stuff for a bit, do other stuff, and come back. But yeah, um... I think you'd do well in it. I'm not gonna say it's gonna be easy. It's gonna be a challenge, but I think you can do it.
Especially, yeah, if, if you've spent seven to eight hours on one boss, you've already got the mentality of a Dark Souls player. <laughs> That's what Dark Souls players do. They're perfectly okay with hitting their head against a brick wall for multiple hours. Like, take this for instance. This level's probably gonna take me like three, four hours. Ah, oh, crap. Your fingers might not be able to handle it, though. I'm trying to- th I'm trying to think. I guess it depends what you play as, because... I think magic combat is less about... ...kind of jumping in there and spamming attacks. It depends how your character goes, because some, they're about getting in jabs quickly and then getting out. But then, there are others where... ...you kind of wait for an opening and then you go one, two, and then you... ...kind of back off. I don't think you have to be more precise, necessarily. A lot of the fights are very ak akin to the Valkyries, so... ...it's... I don't know, the easiest way I can describe it is some of the fights are, are like a dance, almost. There's one boss in particular where it's just straight up, he does five moves and you just have to... When he starts doing a particular thing, then your character has to do a particular thing. But then once you get used to that, it's... I don't know. It's fun. If you do end up trying it, let me know. Um, and I'll try to turn up for the stream. Although I guess if you do it soon, because um, this week's my last week of work and then I'll have time off, so I'll have a bit more time to be able to watch during the day. If nothing else, I think you'll enjoy it for just being able to delve into the George R. R. Martin universe that got written for it. Oh my god. Oh, this is... Ugh. Dude. Oh my god. Ugh. How's this not over? Oh, I'm dead. I, I had to go right away. <laughs> okay. That's the furthest I've been. I just need like a few seconds to recover from that. Yeah, I don't think you'll get it for a bit. You have a couple of other games. That's fair. Yeah, if you do, let let me know. I'll I'll definitely uh watch where, when I can. Oh, I didn't get my cape. All right, I guess I'll do it without a cape. I don't know. I, I would recommend Elden Ring before um, Bloodborne. I think Bloodborne's held in higher regard, but it's definitely not as approachable. And there's kind of less to do. At least in Elden Ring, if you want to take a breather, you can go explore stuff. Or 
we can stop and go look at some lore. There's ways to take a break from fighting. Hey, Savine. Good luck. You'll be lurking while robbing banks. Good luck. I imagine something like GTA. <laughs> oh, we'll see you on the news. Either way. The George R. R. Martin thing has you intrigued. Yeah, I mean... You can look up some of that stuff already. It's not going to spoil the game. Because it doesn't... It just kind of... Some of it will be introductory to the world of Elden Ring and... I guess the state of it. Like how things are the way they are and why. Damn it. I think for this part, if I have the cape, it's going to make it easier. I was kind of questioning to what extent he was going to be involved. Because that was one of the major things when they announced the game was just his involvement and I thought, oh, maybe he's just, in a minor way, just riding, I guess, the world and... A loose plot, but it seems to be pretty in-depth. So we'll see what they do with that. I'd be shocked if they didn't make a sequel to it. I'm probably going to replay Elden Ring at some point because I, I want to try a, a magic build. Do the opposite of what I played through as I went. Just complete brute on it. Uh oh. <sighs> this part sucks. Okay, okay, well. Alright, this is doing payday too, fair enough. sucks for me right now is the weather here is alternating between hot and cold. So it's it's going as I wake up, I have one type of clothing on, and then by the end of the day I've changed clothes because it's either uncomfortable or just it just doesn't make sense to wear it anymore. The other thing, I think I messed up a couple of, uh, storylines and with the, uh, the NPCs, some of the side characters. But that's probably my own fault. I kind of went to areas I shouldn't have gone to that early, but oh well. Now I know. put a time box on this. If I can't get this in the next half hour, I'll go try one of the other stages that are remaining.
Okay. I've thought about it. There's two Elden Ring bosses in particular that I remember did make my hands hurt. <laughs> but they're entirely optional. You don't have to go there. But they don't pertain to the to the story so much. You can not you can explore those areas but then choose to not fight the boss or fight it and give up because they're just known to be hard. You might be a platinum hunter now. Jeez. Well, if <laughs> let's say you do get Elden Ring. To get platinum Elden Ring, it's basically three playthroughs of the game because there's three endings you can get. I think there's four, two of which you can get at the same time. And then the others, basically, it's locked to a quest. And the quest dictates how the game's gonna go down. So... Don't they give you something now, um, for getting platinum trophies? I remember reading that PlayStation was gonna do something to incentivize people to go for platinum trophies. Coopers. <laughs> I hate them. The stage would be so straightforward without them. Oh, okay. Yeah, hang on. Let me let me see this. Yeah, PlayStation All-Stars is what it's called. So hang on. Right, so they're doing this program where you can compete in a wide range of activities. Some of them will be oriented around earning specific tro trophies or completing specific games. And they're even going to do things where you, you can win something based on being the first person to platinum a title in your time zone. Um, in as well as earning loyalty points that can be redeemed for PSN wallet funds. So... They're also going to be creating digital collectibles. Okay. These sound like NFTs, but they're not. Just little mini things that will go on your profile, I guess. It's kind of like how Steam has these little, uh, little things you can collect for your profile, so I guess it's the same thing. But I guess it can translate over to discounts and stuff. If you were to do it well enough. I mean, if you're going to platinum every game you play, then you may as well try to go for some of that stuff.
Hit me, thank you. You're just kidding, you're not really gonna go for platinum all the time. It was so hard, <laughs> I can imagine. But it's, it's an achievement, it just... I think, if anything, just proves that you could definitely play a Souls game. Okay, 10 minutes and then I'm gonna try another stage, because this is... Or maybe I should see how much of the stage I have left, based on how far I got. I'm pretty sure some of the other stages are easier, it's just... I'm kind of intrigued what's gonna be in the middle of this area, in this void. Because it seems like it's built up to something, and it almost seems like a castle is going to rise out of the middle there or something. I don't think I've ever gotten a Platinum Trophy on any PlayStation game, so... Definitely ahead of me in that regard. If I had, if I had played Crash Bandicoot on the PlayStation instead of the Switch, that would be my only one. Really? Ah. Oh. The level designer went out of their way, just... The obstacles weren't enough, they just have to add that extra layer of, hey, the player's not suffering enough. You know, it'd be great if just, at any given point, this thing were to appear and just punch the player in the crotch. I mean, not literally, but... Feels like that. I've made it a thing for next year that I'm not going to play a game that's difficult, because I feel like that's all I've been doing lately. So I'm going to play games that aren't difficult for a while. Yep. This is certainly reinforcing that thought. Okay, if I was to say one thing about Elden Ring, there's one fight in particular that I would say not to watch, because that that's the extreme of Elden Ring. So, I'm not going to say what it is, but just, I would say stick to the first half of the game. Because basically anyone that fights that boss, it's gonna be, uh, caveman noises, cave person noises. It's the most pop- one of the most popular forms of video for that game as well, is just compilations of people just getting angry at this boss fight, so... 
but it's it's something that doesn't pertain to the main quest. It's something that is completely optional. You don't have to go there, but a lot of players do because they want to experience everything and they want to a hundred percent it. So that's why. But if you were to, if that was to be your first impression of Elden Ring, no, because I can see that popping up. Just yeah. Just avoid videos that's a video of a woman with a helmet. That's all I'm going to say. Even my ones. Especially my ones. Redhead helmet. Actually, it looks like a Valkyrie. There, that's even easier. But now you're curious. I, I mean, okay, you can watch it, but don't let that be, oh, this is what Elden Ring is. Just... Because I'll tell you right now, I'll, I'll, this is my opinion of that fight. And this is months after the fact that I did it. It still burns how unfair that fight is. Just... I'm going to say it's just straight up bullshit, and I overall did did not enjoy it, <laughs> but I beat it. But even after the everything is said and done, and I can look back on it now calmly, I did not enjoy that fight. But it's part of the experience, I guess. And other stuff more than made up for it. Just... If I could go back and tell myself, I'd be like, listen, try it for an hour. This is, this is the trick to beating her. Just look up the trick to beating her right away. If you can't get it in an hour, just give up. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Because I made the mistake of trying to figure out myself, like, how to get... How to beat her. Because up until that point, every other fight was like, I could figure it out to some degree. But yeah, oh, that was like... Ugh. I will say, though, the lore around that, uh, that character is pretty cool. I'd have to put it up there as probably one of the hardest things I've had to do in a game ever. In terms of just focus, <laughs> maybe not, maybe not in terms of how much I had to do, but just in terms of how right things had to go for me to win. Oh my god, I have both capes. This has never happened. Okay, 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 I'm focusing. Hold on. You gotta go make food, you'll be RB. All good, all good. Enjoy. No! no! I slipped. No! Ugh. I hate this area. The worst part about that area is just, for whatever reason, those pillars from the ceiling. They're not background elements, but they're colored like they're background elements, and it messes with me. Ugh. 
I can't believe that. That that was probably the best shot I had at completing it. Because that part where it got really difficult, I would have had an extra... an extra cape. And I could brute force my way through it. <laughs> oh, that. That's unfortunate. at pause. How much time do I have left? Ten minutes. At the one and a half hour mark, I'll give it a break for a little bit. I'm trying to think if the first half of the stage is harder or not. I've made more progress, it's just... Oh my god. I feel so bad. I wish there was a quicker way for me to get the cape, but... Unfortunately, this is the quickest way. I've tried without the cape and it's just... I'm too inconsistent. The cape lets me get further, more reliably. Good, 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 good. It's not gonna disturb me for like 30 seconds. Don't you dare, please. Okay. <laughs> okay. Both capes again. <sighs> okay. Oh shit. Oh no, I'm fine. Okay, okay, okay. 
Oh no. So okay, I mean, just out of curiosity, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna take a look. How much is left on the stage? Because I feel like I'm at the end. Where is that video I had of the stage? I have no shame in this because just of how hard it is. So let's see. I hate watching these videos because they make it look so easy. But I guess when I succeed, it'll look that way. Okay, so that's roughly what I got up to. Yep, yeah, okay, I'm watching now. So after the, the where I died... There's... There's this whole section where... Oh boy, if that's gonna... yeah, okay. That's a little demoralizing. But it's pretty much I have to run to the edge of the screen right away. And then... Oh no, this stage is still going for a bit. Okay. I don't want to spoil a, a lot of it, but... There's at least another minute after what I got up to, so... Okay. But I mean, if I can make it with the two capes and just do better, I think I can do it. Like, at the very least, I'm putting myself in a scenario now where I have both capes. Which, good. I just have to, I guess, get into the mentality of just being on the edge of the screen. After that point. But some of the stuff that's coming up, it's... The first time you encounter it, you're 100% going to die. I can't see anyone really reacting to that. And getting it done the first time. Magic Coopers. <sighs> they're, so, they're so annoying, like they just... They're so unnecessary. The stage is already hard and it just adds this layer of, well, there's some scenarios that you can't escape. It's just gonna mess you up and there's, there's nothing you can do. Like, haha, the player's gonna lose. Okay, well, I don't have both capes, but I'll try. I don't know how I could do this without the cape. <laughs> the jumps are so specific. Particularly that, like having to squeeze in there. Ugh. No. <laughs> okay. I think I have to jump sooner. The other thing is, I'm not really familiar with the- Okay, I'm gonna look at the Sword Blade part again. Whilst I'm waiting for the cape. Because I think that's the part that got me last time. Okay, so you have to run in. Oh, some of these jumps. It's just sickening how precise they have to be. I mean, I, I guess that's not the only way to make it, it's just... <sighs> well, 
watching it, it just makes you think, oh man, I can't do that. But I guess if you were just watching me right now, and just how I'm just running through that part without hesitation, I guess it would look difficult too. I still think the stage could have had three checkpoints and it still would be as challenging. I think it's just the fact that I have to do so much platforming before it is like, okay. Have a checkpoint. I got impatient. I thought it was going to appear again. That's why I reacted the way I did. Ooh, that was close. As long as I can make it to this area with one upgrade, I guess it's fine. Damn it. I think ideally I'm going to need both, but one at the very least will let me get through. these things. Is, is it on? No. You know what? Just go. I was thinking is it easier for me to just go back and get the fire flower and just have that as a backup? I guess it'll be good practice. Assuming I make it. Ah. Okay. I'm gonna say two more attempts and then I'm gonna go try another stage for a little bit. Just to give myself a little mental break from it.
I mean, I guess I've made it to two thirds of the way, so. I thought I'd be doing way worse, to be honest. Oh, this, this game is such an ass. <laughs> it's not the game, it's the level designer. It's not the game, it's the level designer. This person right here, just, yeah. Put all those things in the room from a platforming challenge perspective and then was like, nah, you know what, this isn't enough. What I need is something shooting at the player constantly from a random position. Sometimes in mid-air. I saw something in the corner of my eye, I can't look. I'll look in a sec. <laughs> Hello, Cody, thank you for the raid. How's it going? I had to find a spot where I wasn't going to get punished for looking. Hang on. Yes, raiders indeed. Welcome. Magic Koopa is draining me. This would be so much more straightforward if he wasn't there. Alright, just let it go. Wrapping up your night with some Kaizo. Nice, nice. I'm not much of a Kaizo player, but I'm doing my best. Okay. I think 50 lives at this stage is enough for now. Oh, you play A Link to the Past Randomizer, that's cool. I like playing A Link to the Past Randomizer. I haven't played it in a long time though. Checking this out because I played it a few years ago and then my save data corrupted and I didn't go back to it. So I'm kind of fulfilling what I needed to do all those years ago, which was finish this. Just the stage in particular, it is very involved. Am I just that unlucky? Is, is he going to just... How many times has he just p appeared directly in front of me while I'm in the middle of an important jump? I feel like I'm cursed. Oh, eh, I mistimed it. It's okay. You played this a long time ago, had fun with it, didn't get super far. Okay. Yeah, I mean, there are certainly some stages that are just... I would say they go out of their way just to be frustrating. They start off with a fun idea, and then... There's just always one extra element they add just 
to make it annoying, but it's not every stage that does it, it's just certain creators. But then there's some really cool ideas and some unique stuff in it, and that's why I enjoy it. I think it's worth it overall, and the difficult stuff it asks you to do, for the most part at least, if it has to do something obscure from a mechanic point of view, it explains it to you, which is nice, but... Those stages are pretty rare, that's... yeah. This is one of the final stages, so don't let the difficulty of this, if anyone's never seen this before, don't let the difficulty of this, I guess, sway you. As, yeah, this is probably, I'd say, the hardest stage I've faced so far. Just from how long it is, it's, ugh, it's just way too long. It's six minutes of platforming if you were to have the perfect run. And the checkpoint is exactly at the three minute mark, so. It doesn't sound like a lot, but when it's just constant challenges like that, oh boy. It does get tiring. Alright, I'm gonna let this be my final attempt, and then I'm gonna go check out one of the other remaining stages, just for a little bit. Just to give me a mental break from this. As it's been like an hour and a half, so... Yeah. When I start doing stuff like that, I think I need a break. Okay. Um... I'm just trying to think what's left. I think really it's between that stage. I think there's one here in Star Wars that I haven't finished. Ah, uh, yeah, it's Disarray. Yeah, I don't want to do that one. Still haven't learnt which one goes to where. Okay, close enough. I just want to see what I'm up against. The thing I gotta keep in mind is not to grab the checkpoint. I just want to see. Because I haven't seen the stage. Oh, this seems like it's very last stage like. Oh. This is very reminiscent of Super Mario World. I guess door number three. Yeah, I recognize the song as well, but I'm not sure what it's from as well. What is this? I don't like this. 
sounds like something you'd hear in a JRPG. Yeah, I, I just can't put my finger on it. This is one of those things that I'm gonna remember when it doesn't matter anymore. I wonder if this is like Bowser's Castle where you just pick one path. So that was path one, what's path two? Ah yeah, more of these things, yes. <laughs> like I wasn't sick of them already. I think a cape would definitely benefit here. Path number one seems good in terms of difficulty. Maybe that's it. Maybe the doors are just difficulty. There's no shame on <laughs> taking door one if that's the case. I'll at the very least check out door number two. But already uh, I'm thinking door number one. But let's just see what door number two holds now. So this is door number two. Why do I... Oh, okay. Um, yep, cool. That's gone. Yeah, I mean... <laughs> These are just first impressions. I'm sure I could do that. If I throw my head against that brick wall long enough, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go with door number one. This is just a little breather from the other stage, anyway. I don't intend to finish it unless it's that straightforward. This is the best way to take a break and not take a break. It's gonna bother me where this is from. <laughs> I need to know. No, oh, really, really. Oh no, this definitely feels like a final stage to me. One of the things I hated as a kid were Hammer Brothers and uh, the Boomerang Throwers. And typically towards the end of the game, they would, uh, like, put them as obstacles. So it's definitely instilling that feeling. It's from Romancing Saga. Beat him up. Really? Okay. Maybe I'm thinking it sounds like something else. I don't know. It's not what I expected, but okay. Thank you. 
For some reason, like at the start, it, it kind of had Mega Man vibes, but then I was like, nah, it can't be. The tempo is faster. Yeah, they have altered. They have quite a bit of Donkey Kong music in this, and it's a different tempo or instrument. Really? Okay, that'll leave me alone for a little bit. Is there anything here? Oh, no. Okay, good. Good. Oh, no! <laughs> Dude, right at the end. Okay, 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 okay. Oh, now what? Uh. Alright, chat. Left or right? I don't know. If we're going, I guess, in, in order of difficulty, I should go left, shouldn't I? Go right? Wait, what? What is this? Oh my god. Oh, I hate this already. <laughs> that is, uh... uh... That's interesting. I've never seen that before. A P-switch that controls water? What? It's- it's definitely cool, it's like, uh, there was another stage that... The exclamation block controlled the water temperature, and you just had to keep hitting it to make sure that it didn't freeze or it didn't boil. So you had to keep the water temperature just right. Okay. But yeah, I mean, this is this hack in general is just sure it has difficult things, but some pretty cool ideas in it. Oh, you idiot! You know, it's a cool idea. Not dying. I'm not going back for the cape. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I just remembered something. I just remembered something. I don't have to go that far for the cape. It's just here. There's one here. It's okay. This song is definitely catchy. It's gonna be stuck in my head for a bit. when they do that. <laughs> Those mini thwomps. Thwimps, I think they're called. I'm going left this time. 
Wait, what? Wait, what? <laughs> what do you mean? What do you mean, fireballs? <laughs> I'm normal Mario, what? Three, two, one, take off. Whoa. Oh, okay, 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 okay. I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. I got it. Oh, that's cool. That's a cool idea. <laughs> so let's find the, the safe spot in three seconds. That's cool. Did it, did it really have to take my capes though? Come on. I'm trying to think which one I could realistically get done. I do like the idea of the left door, but I feel like that one is the harder door. I probably could have made that. Boomerang, please! <laughs> Stop it. Ah, I mean, I guess it doesn't matter. It's gonna get converted over anyway. Good. Okay, well, that was a waste. So you have to watch carefully. Okay, go. Wait, but where do I, where do I go, where do I go, where do I go, where do I go? Dude. Okay. Safety. Oh no, it's not safe! <laughs> oh no, I didn't think I was gonna do that. Okay, I thought that was safe. You have to move across that, okay. I mean, I want to. I kind of want to go back to the other stage, but I also want to keep doing this stage. It's... It's, oh, come on, really? I was trying to be safe there. I'm gonna get one more attempt at this, and then I'll go back. I've had a good enough break.
At least it's easy enough to get a cape here. I don't have to go too far back. I do like that they stuck to the original theme of the multi-door. Just pick your poison. Like bonus points for that. Maybe I shouldn't do the stack, so it looks like I have to rescue Peach here. So that is. That would be roll credits if I finished that, but I'm not done. Alright, I, I just wanted a mental break from the other stage, so I guess I got that out of the way. So that's kind of unfortunate because the only choices I have now are just stages that are going to take me ages. Like this one. This one, I don't think is... I think this is less fun than the other one. It might be easier overall, I think. It's just... I don't like stages that do this to you right away. <laughs> nah, not, not today. See, that's, that's the kind of Kaizo I don't particularly enjoy. Oh. Okay. So that's weird then, because there's still... There's still three stages unaccounted for. Because in the unlock area, there's movies for three stages that I haven't been to. So I guess whatever comes after this one would be one of them, but then... Unless there's a whole new area that maybe comes after this, I don't know. I'm not really sure. Anyway. these things so much am i am i does this happen to anyone else am i am i just that unlucky honestly like you can't make that up oh okay you gotta head to bed all right cody no worries well appreciate the raid thanks for the chat <laughs> yeah i'm gonna do my best to get this done I'm gonna try not to be up that late. <laughs> if it wasn't for just that element of, hey, I'm just gonna lose my upgrade at any point, I think I would be doing better right now.
I really want to know what's in the middle here. Especially if it's making me go through the hardest stage that I've experienced so far. I would argue this is harder than that castle that we just saw. Perseverance. I'll probably get a bottle of water after the next couple of deaths. I need to be better with the hydration now that summer's kind of hit here. Okay, I got this. Compared to the first half of the stage, this is going amazingly well. <laughs> the first half of the stage took two streams to do. My best. Some of these jumps I have no idea how I'm going to pull off. Because last time I had cape. I'm not going too badly. Oh, okay. That's full jump. Okay. Okay. I guess I'm learning. I, I did better than I thought I would. I got up to that part at the very least without a cape, so that's good. I'm pretty much up to the point where there's only uh, roughly 40 seconds left of the stage. It's just those 40 seconds are a doozy. to get ahead of this before he respawned, but that's fine. He's gonna leave me alone now.
Okay. That was almost bad. This is bad. This is bad. I'm dead. Ugh. I hesitated. I think in some ways the cape is more comfortable, but at the same time it has its detriments. But I guess that's good. That's twice that I've gotten up to that point reliably, so... Cape or no cape? timing. In some ways, I feel like I did myself a favor. Oh, oh no, what have I done? Okay, I'm getting a bottle of water. <laughs> a little bit further. Give me a minute. I definitely appreciate the nuance of the stage where there are times where just being small Mario is better. It's kind of like a risk and reward thing. Having the safety net is nice, but there's a lot of extra effort you have to go to. Whereas if you're skilled enough, 
you can get through it without being big. And some parts will be easier. So. I'm getting close though. This, this segment here, <laughs> if it, if it wasn't so random with the magic Koopa thing. Oh, I almost messed that up. Okay. This is a. You can take my upgrade at any given point, it's so annoying. Like, there, I, I almost got punished just for existing. to get this cape again. Ah, uh, I should have left it. That's unfortunate. Oh, whoops. Ah, that's okay. That part there, there's almost no choice but to take a hit. You have to crouch, slide. I'm just gonna die. But if I can make it past that point with both capes... I feel like I got a really good chance of getting it done. I think once I get past that point... Then... Two safety nets is huge. Oh, whoops. That was worth taking the time to kill it. He'll probably reappear. <sighs> Such a dick. Ugh, I can't believe how annoying that is. Oh, that was my bad.
<laughs> at the very least. I've gone and checked out on other states, so if nothing else, even if I don't achieve anything today, we've got to see a couple of cool things, so. I'm hoping that after this stage, there is no other stage that is as long or as time-consuming as this one. Because this is the outlier. Every single stage in this ROM hack has been fine. None of them have taken me as long as this one. Like, at worst, it's like an hour for a stage. This is definitely just... Okay, it's a finale. Great. It's making me do something really difficult. But I'm hoping there's nothing else that makes me take this long again. <sighs> okay. I'm just debating whether I should even try. I think what I'm gonna do if I get up to the same point again, if I, at that part where I have to do this, the slide duck move, um, and I mess it up, I'm just gonna let the upgrade go. Unless it's so obvious that I'm gonna get it, like a hundred percent chance, I'm not gonna risk getting it. And I think I can still be okay. I just want to see what comes up afterwards and... Who knows, maybe I can do well enough. Okay, yeah. I'm just gonna reset. <laughs> I hate watching the footage of the stage, they just make it look so easy. But I'm probably gonna have to do it for the last part. This is just the result of someone being tired. Oh, whoops, I did the reset key. It's okay. Doesn't matter. I could have sworn I changed that to be something less... Less easy, but it's okay. I haven't lost any progress. Thankfully. <laughs> I would have lost that if I did. 
it's still the same checkpoint, so we're fine. I'll just use this opportunity to get more lives. I could have sworn I changed it. Um... Why is, why is, yeah, why is it something that easy to pull off? Um... Like, really? Up and select, that's all it takes. Yeah, no, what? Hang on. Up, select, BY. I want to make it something extremely hard to do. I swear I did this last time. Imagine if I was at the end of the stage and I accidentally did that. Oh, dude. It's about as dumb as, um, so I have an AMD graphics card and with their software, they have hotkeys by default. And one of the hotkeys is Control Shift S. And it's. It's such a common tr soft key. I mean, shortcut. It's like save as, shift s. Why? Why would you do that? Why would you make a hot key? Control shift s. <laughs> it's so common. And what they do is they intercept it, so then whatever you're trying- you're not trying to save as anymore, it just brings up AMD stuff. See, we're fine. <laughs> Same checkpoint, it's okay. This thing is such an ass. I feel like I I would have at least 30% more attempts if it wasn't for that. I reckon about a third of my attempts have been ruined because of that thing just randomly appearing at an inopportune time. If it wasn't for the fact that I would lose this checkpoint if I did another stage and I would I would go do another stage. But the checkpoint just took everything out of me to get it. So I'm not about to go through that again. That was doomed either way. <laughs> just right on schedule. is so old that sometimes me pressing left registers as up, which 
not helpful, but, you know. I think I must have shifted over the years, I don't know. I keep saying I should open it up, but I never do. Stay away from me. <laughs> I faked myself out. I thought it was going to appear. That's why I was delaying as long as I could. Come on, stop it. This is being annoying right now. Good, yeah. Way to add challenge to a stage. not playing well. <laughs> I'm messing it up. This is what happens to me when I try something for too long, is I, I kind of enter this phase where I just seem to unlearn everything I've learnt temporarily, and then I get it back. Magic Coopers, dude. So much. It's just so unnecessary. It's already a hard enough stage. I feel like this part, this part of the stage is more straightforward, but it's more annoying because of just that aspect. Like,
Like, I preferred it when it was just a, a platforming challenge. And that it was all about timing and you could memorize everything. But just that element of random, where you, you can't predict if it's going to affect you or not. I'm going to finish this before the year ends. I have to. So then I can enter the new year with just... I'm not going to play any difficult games for a while. I want this done. And I'm so close. There's... There has to be only like four stages left. After this one. Unless I'm miscounting based on what I've seen from the unlock room. That has to be it. Yes. <laughs> it's, you would think that just the addition of those things would be so minor and it wouldn't affect you that much, but Try precise platforming with that. Or just at any given point, that thing's gonna hit me. And it won't always. I could do the exact same act- If I was a machine, and I did the exact same action every single time, there's still a chance that that thing will hit me some somehow. Like, a third of the time it's gonna hit me somehow. Stop it. Go away. <laughs> what? Are they, are they in perfect sync with one? Am I just overthinking? What? This can't be right. They're in perfect sync with one another. Okay, whatever. This is why I hate it, because it, it just, it removes the autopilot. It removes the muscle memory I have when I have to adjust for that thing. me alone for 30 seconds.
been a while since I've made it up to this point with both capes. I'm beginning to think it's not as good as I think it is, but I guess I'm just happy to know that I have two safety nets right now. I may have messed this up. Just iframe through it. Shit! No! <laughs> no! No! Oh, come on! How... Okay, I have to look at how far I had left. How much did I have left to do? Oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna yell internally, I swear. How long did I have left? I'm watching, okay. There's shell number one. There's shell number two. Okay, after shell number two, there's... Oh, no. Okay, there's, there's still, uh, like, there's a little bit to go. <laughs> I was so close. Oh, I went in without getting the cape. Right, that's the best I've done all night. I can't imagine a scenario where I get through this without the cape easily. Anyway, I'm getting the cape. At least from what I saw that was coming up, it didn't seem too bad. So I, I guess there's a little bit of a breather coming up, but it's still not over. It's okay, even if I've seen it, it's still gonna be difficult. I'm definitely past the two-thirds mark, like... I'd say 80% of the stage is complete at the point that I reached, so... Thing's such an ass, <laughs> and I can't predict it. It's just, it's just gonna do that sometimes, and there's nothing I can do about it. It's just, ha ha. You're gonna get punished for being at the wrong place at the wrong time.
I haven't done something that has taken me as long as this since Elden Ring at the start of the year. I mean, a, th a single thing. I can't remember how many hours Melania took me, but... I would say the stage is getting there in terms of hours. fingers are kind of getting tired. <laughs> I released the button too early and that just fucked me. I, I had no way out of that one. I had already jumped, so. You see, the unfortunate thing is like, I, I do want to keep trying, but the problem is my fingers are getting tired. So it really makes it difficult to succeed when that's going on. flight down to me just to give my hands a rest. <laughs> I think it's important, especially if I want to progress. frustrating it is it's just so frustrating it's not it's just if there was something that i could actively know what to do about it wouldn't be frustrating but the it's just it's random it's just oh it'll be on top of me sometimes it, it's just going to straight up ruin a run this done but I don't want to push it. <laughs> it's just my hands are getting tired and I don't want to injure myself. Like get a blister or something. It's summer that's why though. That stuff is more likely. Going great.
I think this is definitely going to take one more stream. I don't know. I'm going to time box this for like another 20 minutes, I think. If I didn't have to hold the button so much, I, I wouldn't be as tired as I am now. But I mean, at least progress was made and we got to see some of the other castles, so that's cool. You can blame the Magic Cooper, it's all the fault of the Magic Cooper. <laughs> Just dragging this out longer than it probably would go for if he wasn't there. how well it goes when it's not around. Not easy. It's pretty much that part there that's the crucial moment. If I can make it through that and keep both capes, that's a pretty strong chance that I get close to the end if not completing it. I think that's the win condition there. Like, okay, it can happen without it, but it's, it definitely makes things easier. thing so much. I really do. <laughs> yeah, that, that's tied hands right there. <laughs>
button to mm, not pressing the button. So not do it in the stream. I know for a fact that like next stream it's gonna happen pretty quickly. Since I've seen the majority of the stage now. It's okay, this happened with the first half. Just the stars aligned and I got it I got the checkpoint done. You done? <laughs> okay. I mean, sure. Could have gone worse. One is better than nothing, I guess. feel bad. Okay, but this part here is psychology is run in, run out quickly. Fuck, I needed to spin jump. I needed to spin jump. Okay, okay. I got to experience that part again, so I'm happy because I, I need to get my mind into the correct state. Where I need to be in front of the screen and just run in immediately, so then the, sw the thwomp drops. Because the one after it, when I had both capes, the reason I messed up was because I didn't run in right away. That was just carelessness. I, I could have done a lot better there, but unfortunately, I messed it up. I stopped crouching way too soon.
Okay, it's okay, just relax, don't fuck it up. Oof, okay. This is not good, run in. Ah. Yeah. Okay. That part's going to be really hard to hang on to the capes. <sighs> but I'm glad I'm getting up to that point. That is going to be a very specific window that I have to go for. Get out of here. Be gone. You'll still reappear, yeah. But I think timing I'm okay on this one. Come on, no. Okay, well. The thing is, it's, it's not like this is impossible like this either. I could very well just do as well. I was on the back foot. I was on the back foot, I jumped too early. And then I was trying to recover and yeah. I didn't have the momentum to make it to the next one. But I mean, I did more or less as well as I would have with the cape, so. Some of the jumps are just a bit easier when you're tiny, but then that part that's coming up, I, I, I don't know. I feel like I need the safety net. It's so annoying. It's something that I can't... Yeah, like, I can't account for that. Just every now and then, he's just gonna do that to mess me up. And I, I can't do anything.
I really wish those ceiling things weren't colored the way they are. Like it's it is straight up just a dick move. <laughs> no, there's no reason they should be that color. A decision was made there to go out of their way to just be annoying. the amount of times where I'm just doing so well and then just the random position of that just messing me up somehow. It's okay, I, I, I have a cape at least this time. wish I would have been able to keep the two. On paper, yeah, I should have been able to keep the two, but... Magic Cooper has other ideas. Oh, that was dumb. Okay, whatever. Yeah, my hands are tired. <laughs> I'm starting to release the buttons too soon. I'll give it a few more attempts and then I might have to leave it because it's being detrimental. Like, I'm not. I'm on the edge of winning. It's just the problem is when hands get tired, it's very difficult. And having laser focus for multiple hours on the one platforming challenge. <laughs> but I'll do my best. desynced. Okay. Yeah.
Shit. Okay, just go all, all the way along. Ah. I was trying to drop early to give myself time, but yeah. Right, I'll tell you what, I'll keep going until life number 70. At 70 lives, I'm gonna leave it. I think that's about all I can take <laughs> from. <laughs> Both mental and physical exertion. Definitely the hardest stage in the ROM hack for me so far. Everything else feels like just a cakewalk and pleasant by comparison. Oh, no, I have a mushroom, not a cape. Um, I guess that's... Ooh, I've never really been in this situation before. Okay, well, situation over. Like, I, I have the size of Mario, but not really any of the benefit of slow fall. Must have not grabbed the other cape. <laughs> See, exhaustion kicking in. Pretty convinced that those spiky pillars being the color of the background is a hundred percent just like a a troll move by the creator of the level. There's no reason why they should be that color. The only reason you would make them that color would be just to mess with the player. It's just it's, it's straight up just a dick move. <laughs> There's no other reason to have it. I don't question the existence of the pillars, but just the fact that they're colored that way. Like, at some point, they would have been the normal color, and then they would have changed it, because, yeah, the player has to suffer. trying to get here before he appeared, but okay, we're fine.
It's fucked, but whatever. Shit. Oh, I'm gonna lose the thing again. Oh no, I kept it. Okay. Oh, fuck me. Nah. Wow. <laughs> um... I need to see what you do there. I think I know, it's just... Ugh, that move. Ugh, okay, okay. That's the furthest I've been. So... Oh, I forgot to go get... Um, ugh, all right, I'll just die. I'll do an extra life. I'm genuinely surprised I managed to hang on to the cape as long as I did, but... Okay. I think where I lost it the first time, there's definitely a window for me to jump through that. I just need to be more... patient. I'm gonna get an extra life just to. As I said, I'd go till 70. There we go. Because the previous life, I, yeah, I, I messed up. That was my bad. Let's run so far. Oh, God. oh my god, what the fuck is this? I fucked that up. Really? 
That. All right. <laughs> That's so rude. How was I going to know that that was about to happen? <sighs> there can't be. There can't be much left. Come on. What's left after that? I can't believe how well I did and then just to die to that. Like, I panicked. If I would have collected the cape, I would have been fine and I... I don't know what would have happened, but that... At least gives me the confidence that I can get through that thorn part. Because I, th I think I got it for that now. That was completely error-free up until that point. touch ground. Okay, don't be disheartened because I I made it through the previous area error free. It shows that I can do it hitless. And there is a mushroom, so I guess that's that's nice. Kind of. I'm not even convinced I can grab the mushroom, to be honest. There's everything in this section is just surgical timing. Okay, this part I've got down. That's the second time I've done it perfect. How much is left? How much is left of the stage? <laughs> How much is left? <sighs> I'm watching the video. Oh, come on. Oh my god, how much is left? <laughs> it just doesn't end. Sorry that shocked anyone. Dude, my focus was just...
I'm watching, so... Oh, I'm gonna hate it. I'm going to 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 hate it. How much was left? Come on. My finger slipped. I was so tired. Okay, so there's what- Oh my god! <laughs> do you know how- do you know what was left? I just had to jump across that platform, and then jump across another platform, and that was it. That was it. That was the end. That's the end there. That was the end of the stage. Oh, I'm so annoyed. Like, I was seconds from getting that. I had to focus so hard. <laughs> I had to focus so hard to do that. I'm not sure I have it in me again, but I'll try. I did say I'd keep going until I was down to 70 lives, so that prerequisite hasn't been met. Oh my god, I can't believe how long this stage is. Not to mention that I, I did all of that blind. That part with the, uh, the fireballs. Just that nightmare. I, I, I did it. I'm not sure I can do it again, but I'll try. You see? <laughs> do you see? I'm just cursed to do worse now. <laughs> oh dear. I feel bad, because <laughs> if I'm that close to finishing it, like, I would stand that I should just finish the stage, but it, I'm so tired. Just... But now it's kind of like it would almost be a cop-out not to finish the stage. Like, when you get that close. almost the point of no return. Oh, I'm so annoyed at myself. <laughs> just, I know I played well, but it's still just so annoying. I shouldn't have looked. I should have just been blissfully unaware of how much was left in the stage. My bad. I just, I slipped. I slipped.
Okay, I've done this part without taking damage, so I, I shouldn't be... Ooh, this part, though. Okay, that's fine. Minor adjustments had to be made there, but other than that... Okay, this part I actually haven't done without the cape, so this is going to be... That was going to be interesting. Because with the cape, I kind of just did this cool slow fall through it. Which I guess maybe there would have been enough time to run through it, but... I'm feeling confident about this, I just... I think if I get into a situation where I get up to the point where I just died with two capes, I think I can do it. If I can just get that happening, that's... I, I believe that's the win condition. Maybe. <laughs> I don't know. I like to believe it is. Yeah, I uh, released the button too early. I guess just keep going. Or just die now, it's fine. Oh, whoops. Sorry. <laughs> nice snipe. Unfortunately, it's probably going to reappear here. Oh no, okay. It's fine. Tired hands make for bad platforming. <laughs> I know I said till 70, but we'll see. I don't think I've focused this much on the stage at all. <laughs> just, particularly that second half. I just, I, I've been not saying a word. Oh, that was lucky. Oh, come on, no, what? What do you mean it didn't hit? Okay, look, it's, it's fine as long as I have one cape. I don't understand how that didn't result in, in the head stomp.
Oh shit. Nah. Too slow. I could kind of feel that I was a bit on the back foot there. I needed to do that quicker. <sighs> My hands are so tired, but... But... I think I'm so close. Alright, screw it. Hey, Laura. Cape, that's all I need. Okay, I, I ruined that myself, but I guess try anyway. Did I finish the other castle level? It's the same one, it's just the second half of it. It's good to know that I can get as far without the cape, but I think that jump there, that's going to be a tricky one. Oh, I have to focus so hard at that point. <laughs> that's why I go so quiet. part it's kind of unforgiving the scenario that i'm trying to get myself into is just have a cape at that point and if i can have one at that point i'd say there's a 50 50 chance i can do it it's just the problem is this first part i'm at the mercy of this asshole here just interferes and there's no real way to predict it it's just you just gotta hope that he doesn't get in your way he 
Yeah, okay, well, I frame through this. I mean, if I can learn how to get through that part without the cape, that's also good. Are veins popping out of my forehead? Nah, not at all. Just more tired than anything else. It's more hands tired, not mental tired. The mental exhaustion will hit. Especially if I have to focus that hard. That section. I can only keep that up for so long. Ugh, alright. I just... I really wish I didn't look how long I had left. I probably would have stopped. But because I saw how much I had left, that kind of bothers me now a little. myself out. I faked myself out again. What am I doing? Oh my god. This is what happens when I don't go right away. Like, I just lose the timing. Yeah, I just die. I think it's easier to just die. This is pretty much going to be a case of just a run where everything is perfect. I just need that thing to leave me alone. <laughs> just stop mess with me and throw me off. It does happen. There are times where he just kind of appears above me and then doesn't really do anything at all. But the majority of the time, at least one time, he's going to appear next to me and potentially hit me. Impressive if I did that intentionally. But I can't take credit for that. Oh, fuck. This has gone to shit. Okay, I guess this is better than nothing.
This part here, I cannot be on the back four, I'm gonna lose. Okay. happen, but okay, I'm gonna have to deal with it. Shit. Oh no. You did a good job surviving the trials of the depraved stronghold. You can now access your final challenge. Ugh. Okay, cool. I'm going to go save the game now before something bad happens. Shattered, <laughs> Shattered Dreams is the name of the stage. No, thank you. Okay, listen. Like, I'm going- I know that just saved the game. I know that just saved the game. But I hope you appreciate just how much this took me. From a time perspective, physical perspective, and a mental perspective. I'm damn well making sure that it saved the game. There we go. It's saved. It's done. I'm- I'm okay. I'm just- I'm actually happy that I got it done. I pushed through and I got it done. So... I guess I gotta go do the other stages, um, but at the very least now, I don't have to play this tomorrow if I don't want to, because muscle memory. Now I can let this just be forgotten. I think it goes without saying that, uh, yeah, this is where the stream is gonna end for tonight, as I'm quite beat, so I'm gonna go watch TV and probably play Diablo, but, uh, yeah. Hope you enjoyed watching me beat my head against this brick wall and then eventually breaking through in the end. I'm glad I was able to do it in this stream and not be like, well, watch me for three hours to achieve nothing. So, yeah. Glad we got it done. <laughs>